Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Monday, April the 15th, 2024. Monday, April the 15th. Well, we have Ava. Well, you know what? I'm not going to start with Ava. I'm going to deal with Lucy. Lucy completely bombed it. She talked only about herself, all about herself. Haven ended up trying to be the one showcasing the product. She even wanted Lucy. Look, Lucy, can you, let's test it on you. Oh, no, no. It needs to be a clean, washed face. No, not with makeup on, which, okay. She goes, we can have somebody come wash your face so you can have no makeup on. Then Lucy's like, uh, no, that won't be happening. That brings confidence to me, right? You're coming to demonstrate this brand new facial cleanser deal. Come to demonstrate it, right? Now, Lucy, oh, she took, I, I fast forwarded it every time she kept talking. So Maxie brings Scott over to try to get her off of the, or keep her on track with the repping the product. How, how did she think that was going to work? Scott couldn't get her to change her topic at all, right? So anyway, um, that was a disaster. Brooklyn calls, uh, first she calls Sasha, but Sasha's busy working with Cody. And apparently Tracy started writing again. I liked her hair slicked back. She has very long hair. It's very thin, but it's really long. Um, I liked it when she, remember she rescued Ethan? And she had her long hair on with a hat or her hair hanging down with a hat. She never really wears it down. So anyway, Sasha ended, uh, ended up reconditioning the leather, leather on the saddle because it hadn't been stored properly and, you know, it was in bad shape. So what happened is she says, um, no, she brings the saddle out and the saddle is gorgeous. Uh, Tracy said that I haven't seen that saddle look like that, like in years. She thought Sasha was a miracle worker. But anyway, Lois comes running down there and Lois says, look, there's an emergency at Deception. They need you. We got to go now. I got the fastest car out the quarter main driveway. I mean, the garage. And then she's like, do you know how to drive a stick? And Sasha's looking at her. She goes, never mind. I know how to drive one. So I'm thinking, what about Sasha's car? She came over in her own car, right? But anyway, um, you know, that that's here nor there, I guess. So Sasha gets there and she's just in her overalls because she's been working in the stables. No makeup on, overalls, hair just in a ponytail. And um, she gets there and Maxie's like, no, Brooklyn's like, we need you. Get up there. They heard Lucy for one minute. And Lucy went to talking about when she founded the Coke, remember the Coco Cosmetics? And I mean, Lucy was just ridiculous. Or she was the CEO of Coco Cosmetics and everything was her, her, her. Or oh, I wrote a book and I wrote, oh. so Sasha comes walking up and Haven's like, Sasha Gilmore. And she goes, oh my goodness. Um, you're here. Well, look, it's so good to see you. And she goes, yes, I'm here. And she, Lucy's like, why are you here? You don't even work for us, right? Right on live TV. And Sasha says, well, I heard I can help. And so Haven says, and help you can, right? So um, Maxie is gesturing Scott to get Lucy off of there. So he's trying to pull her off and he actually does get her off. And she's like, no, I have some more uh, talking stories to tell about me. This is why Lucy does not deserve deception. She just doesn't, okay? Or she deserves to run it all by herself so she can run it into the ground, which is exactly what she would do. Maxie has been the one who's kept it afloat. So anyway, Sasha, she goes, oh, I hear, you know, we're showcasing our brand new skin cleanser, whatever. And Hayden says, yes. And so Sasha says, she goes, and oh, you're looking beautiful, Sasha, but I know we can't demonstrate with makeup on. And, and Sasha says, well, then you're in luck because I'm not wearing any makeup. And Haven is kind of like, she goes, oh, I hate you. 
<laughs> you know, you look this beautiful with no makeup on. So Sasha says, yep, and it's perfect for demonstrating the clean, the, the cream. So she does a nice demonstration and the product starts selling, selling, selling. And somehow, like Mac, they thank her when it's open. Hayden even thanks her and apologizes for being so mean to her. And I'm thinking, mean, chick. She goes, I should have treated you nicer. Yeah, you shouldn't have tried to make her go crazy for your benefit. So Sasha accepted it. And she goes, I hope you come back to deception. And Sasha just looks at her. And for some strange reason, Lucy's with Scott. And she goes, I'm trending. Oh, my God, look at this. They love me. The public loves me so much. I'm trending. And I thought, well, that wasn't good. You know, that wasn't good at all. Why is she being rewarded? She was not selling any products, right? And, you know, I had to snip this great picture of Sasha. And hey, Sasha does look pretty. Makeup, makeup on, makeup off. Gorgeous, right? 100% gorgeous. So then we have, um, I'm going to take care of Carly, still talking to Jason. And she's saying, yeah, Nina's going to make sure Sunny finds out. She's not going to do it directly. But she goes, oh, she's going to put that on blast. But Jason, I want you to know, I did not sleep with him. And he goes, I know, Carly, you said you didn't. And then uh, they they go back through some more history. And he goes, but you and Sonny love each other. She goes, no, not anymore. And she just talks about, you know, what Sonny had done and actually why he feels betrayed by them. And Jason's like, oh, you, but didn't you know he would react that way? He would feel betrayed. And he goes, oh, Michael. And he goes, but ultimately, Michael didn't go through with it. And he goes, and you hired someone to infiltrate? What happened to the evidence? She goes, it was given to me and I destroyed it. So anyway, Jason is telling her, um, what did she say? Jason told her, he told Carly that he was grateful for the sacrifice she made. Because she made a great sacrifice, you know, during the period, you know, of, of even just trying to keep the family together. She goes, Carly, I know. Because she, she goes, it just, everything I did, it doesn't matter. Sonny doesn't care. Jason says, I care. And I'm grateful, Carly. So they, you know, hug each other. And she was saying, I wish that I wouldn't have fell in love with Stun Sonny. And we would have been, still been together. And we would have still been in love, right? And Jason says, I like us better now. <laughs> He's like, I like us better now. So that was cute. And then we have Kate coming into Anna's office looking all jacked up, right? On purpose. And she's like, what happened to you? And he says, I got jumped, you know, on the the alleys of wherever that, the, that it's not on the pier, but the, where the warehouse is or the coffee house is, not the coffee the coffee warehouse is. And she goes, what were you doing there? Trying to follow Jason Morgan. She goes, you already know who he's working for. He goes, I was trying to follow his attorney. Do you think she's dirty? Do you think? And I'm like, why would follow, what good would following his attorney be? You're going to see she went to him, gave him legal paperwork. You're going to see it, well, you wouldn't have seen her giving them paper, legal paperwork, but that's what she would have been doing, right? You would have seen her leave. You would have gotten nothing. That was stupid. And then he goes, I think, he, he goes, when I'm jumped, I, I think it was a setup. I think it was a setup by Sonny Corinthos. And Anna says, or it's a bad part of town and you could have gotten jumped, right? And, you know, she goes, and I think he goes, I think Sonny Corinthos did it. She goes, well, I don't know. You know, could have been that or he could have been at the wrong place. It's a dangerous part of town to be walking around. But then he says, well, Carly Corinthos scared him away and blah, blah, blah. And she kind of, she took him down a peg. She says, now you have Jason working as just this target so that he could be targeted by pikemen. They're going to try to kill him, and that's what you want him. You you have him vulnerable like that. Well, not vulnerable, but in that position. 
He goes, yeah, but if he's working in that warehouse, he and Corinthos could be having a deal together. Anna says, I don't think so. And he goes, why? She goes, because Sonny was in my office asking me to press charges against Jason. When was I going to? You know, for trying to taking him out with that shooting. She goes, I don't think they're working together. She said, but you know what, John? You actually need to pretty much leave Jason alone. You told him he was on his own and he was to make his own plan. So I'm sure he'll inform you when he's ready. I suggest you stay out of his way in case he's just looking. He always ends just looking at people. So then we go to, let's see. Um, Jason and Carly. All right. We go to Ava. Ava Jerome, boy, is she working Nina, and Nina is going to have a fit when she finds out that Ava is double-crossing her. Now, Ava took two more of Sonny's pills. He ought to think the bottle's getting empty, right? And she called a lab, saying, I, I'm worried about my husband's prescription, and if I can bring you two of the pills, could you analyze what's in this medication? What is it? You know what I mean? Is it the proper, or is it right? Is it okay? And she goes, because his pharmacy that he gets it from is online. Otherwise, I mean, there's nobody to ask. And they said, yeah, they would analyze. I'm thinking, what, what lab would do that for you? But okay. Yeah, they would analyze it. And she goes, you can, you good? I mean, you can? Great. I'm going to send a courier today. So Ava is going to find out that his pills have been tampered with. She is not working with Valentine. It is probably going to be Ava that alerts him. He might for a minute turn against her saying that she switched them. But then, because you remember, he's irrational and he's going to get paranoid. But at some point, he's going to realize if in fact, that she was trying to sabotage him, she never would have told him. She would let him continue on the way she is. So I like the fact that they're having Ava figure it out. And Ava was calling that uh, other lab while she was sitting in Nina's office waiting for Nina to come in because Nina asked her to come by Crimson. So then Nina came in and she goes, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. She goes, what, another hotel emergency? And she goes, yeah, you know. And so her assistant came back in and told her the things that were waiting her signature and some things have been emailed to her. Some things are on her desk. She, she goes, thank you so much, Madison. And so Ava says, you know, your assistant came in at least three times while I was in here waiting for you. She goes, well, perhaps she doesn't trust you. <laughs> she goes, but you know, Dr Drew just makes it a habit of barging in my office anytime he wants to. You know, never mind, I might, you know, be busy or in a meeting. And I'm thinking, Nina, that's exactly what you did to Drew, right? Hey, you are, she turns and takes everything that she does to someone else and says it happened to her. She just does. Yes, Drew has barged in the office, but she's been the main one. When he's come in to see Nina, I don't know, was somebody there? I can't remember. Maybe one time, right? And it may have been her assistant. So anyway, um, she said, Ava says, okay, and it's a little small talk. So what did you bring me here for? What did you summon me for? Nina has the nerve to say, I brought you here because I want a progress report. And Ava says, wait, what? I want a, a progress report on my reconciliation to Sonny. And Ava looks at her and says, well, what? Uh, you know what? How do you want that? Do you want that triple spaced? You know, you want me to email that to you? And Madison can tell you it's in your inbox. Or do you want me to print it, print it out? And, and Ava said it's snippy, right? Because it's like, oh, you want, 
You brought me in here to say, how am I doing working on your marriage? And in my mind, I'm thinking, how pathetic is Nina? Pathetic. And so she goes, uh, look, Nina. And Nina goes, no, 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 no. I know you're not my assistant. I know this. I'm just saying, I want to know, you know, how are things going with Sonny? How is he? Oh, well, you know, she goes, look, Nina, I'm working on it. Sonny doesn't allow me to say your name to him. And she goes, wait, what? Yeah, if I do, he goes and pours himself a drink and tell me don't bring you up. He's drinking? That, that's not good for him. She goes, yeah, but not to excess, just a couple of scotches a night. And I'm thinking, oh, a couple of scotches, the hard stuff a night. She goes, but then he gets volatile. So Ava says, that's why I can't mention your name. <laughs> Don't want to bring that up, right? And so she goes, but Nina, it's a good thing. And she goes, how is that a good thing that he can't even stand hearing my name? She goes, because that means you're still under his skin. And Nina looks at her and says, oh, well, if you say it's a good thing, I do, Nina. I do. I'm working on it. And so then Nina, she had brought up the fact that she may not have the hotel for long because Jason Morgan wants to buy it. And Ava goes, Jason Morgan wants to buy the Metro Court? She said, you're half of the Metro Court? She goes, yes. Undoubtedly, he'll give it to Carly. She goes, so look, I feel that, you know, since Jason is, is Sonny's best friend and Ava is looking like, mm -hmm, girl, you just don't know. He thinks Jason's the enemy right now. She's just looking at him. She goes, then I think it'll get, it'll score me some points because I'll be selling the hotel to Sonny's best friend and he'll like that. And then Jason will give it to Carly. So, you know, it, it'll kind of smooth things out. Don't you think, do you think that, that that'll that work? Ava looks at her and says, yeah, I think that will definitely score some points with Sonny. She knows Sonny would, for one, could care less. And see, and honestly, for two, could care less. But the fact that Nina would now try to make sure he know, I, look, I sold my half of the hotel to your best friend, Jason. And Sonny would be like, he ain't my best friend. <laughs> He's a traitor to me. He's dead to me. And she'll be thinking, why didn't Ava tell me? <laughs> It's going to backfire in her face. But anyway, Tracy to, uh, Tracy and Gregory end up talking because he came by to talk to Brooklyn to tell her that Alexis couldn't come, which actually that was a phone call to me and a text, but you didn't have to make a personal, uh, uh, do it in person. But then Tracy ends up coming in after her ride and they're talking and he goes, Alexis, um, she's not going to be his plus one, so he'll be coming stag to the wedding. And Tracy's like, oh, She's just looking at him. And then she goes, why can't Alexis come? To me, everybody, Gregory was wrong telling Alexis's business. He should have said she has a very important appointment she has to make. And it's the next day in Manhattan. That's it. He goes into, oh, she's trying to get her law license back. And I'm thinking, Gregory, you talk it too much. And so Tracy goes, oh, really? Well, I hope it goes well. And he goes, do you really? She says, oh, there's some part of me somewhere that does, I'm sure. <laughs> and then she talked about, he goes, why do you not like Alexis? Because she stood my son Ned up at the altar and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I don't like the way she did that. And so that's why. So anyway, uh, that was that. And you know what? That wraps it up with the recap. Nothing else really happened. I'm trying to think, nope. Nothing else that's worth mentioning to me. So I will be back tomorrow with another daily recap of uh, General Hospital. But I am going to go to Comment Corner. I actually forgot Car Con <laughs> Comment Corner on Friday. So let's go to Comment Corner, Comment Corner. 
I'm going to set my dust, uh, trusty dusty stopwatch for Comment Corner. And I'm going to go from the top down. Jacardi says, Curtis got to see Nina's true colors. Nina says she saw it, but I guess she missed the part where he had bruises all over his face and his chest. I know. Brenda says, well, Lucy, uh, take over, take your beehive back to real estate. Oh, okay. Um, and once a year, yeah, we all can see you at the nurse's ball. Um, so yeah, that's, that's true, Brenda. And then Brenda says she doesn't want uh, nobody she jumped on. To, she doesn't want anybody to know she jumped on drew vitamin d i don't know what that means what if sunny finds out ava spilled the tea drew nina is so pretty it's so petty um about uh, she got turned down by willow and now she's acting out like a child um she's doing it to herself and then clemmy says brooklyn can get a truck for his birthday or Valentine's Day or Christmas. Yeah, it could be, you give it on another occasion. Uh, Creole says, I missed it yesterday, so I could mail my taxes. Uh, glad it wasn't much going on. Thanks for the recap. And then Linda says, uh, what Carly said about Sunny is plausible, because uh, she told Jason she thinks Sunny is the one that could have had Case jumped. I don't think so. I just really don't. I a part of me thinks Kate Kate staged that. I don't know. I just do the way he walked into Anna's office. Like, look at me, I, and it hurts. Come on, Kate. Um, Sonny hates Kate, and Jason would be the one who purchases the metrical court from Nasty Nina. I'm going to say it again. Sonny came between Jason and Carly um, back then because Sonny saw Carly as a slut. And Sonny wanted to prove that Carly was easy, too. So in the long run, Sonny uh, did finally fall in love with Carly, but Sonny went out of his way to take something that did not belong to him. Yes, he did. Uh, Jason and Sonny fell, J Jason and Carly fell in love back then, and Sonny wanted to prove to Jason how easy uh, she was, how easy it would be to get Carly into bed. It was more like a game to Sonny um, than anything else. And at the time, I didn't like how Sonny went about breaking up the young couple. Um, Sonny was a snake in the grass. Then, like Nina is a snake, like Nina is today. And that was why Sonny and Nina made a good couple because they're both snakes in the grass. Okay. All right. Lisa says, Brooklyn had a hard time understanding by Trace... Uh, chase a truck would be an insult he told he sold it to give her something she always wanted i loved how tracy explained it to brooklyn and uh from the heart yeah, that, that was a tender scene bb says i love how tracy wanted her relationship wants her to get this relationship right they make a nice couple and then lisa says Lucy is an embarrassment to deception. Lucy says Maxi doesn't have her back, but Lucy has never had Maxi's back. Lucy is trying to sell herself, not deception products. How does that help deception? And then uh, Aisha says, where is Nina's professionalism? Not so much... Uh, the barging in on Drew's meeting, which was all, which wasn't all that surprising, but the gleefully announcing uh, announcement that followed. In every recent interaction with Drew, Nina has tried to get him to badmouth and turn against Carly, but dropping this bombshell did her no favors and still hasn't made uh, that happen. Uh, Yet she probably is bringing up how Drew needs to get, yeah, get, needs to help her with Willow. Look, Ava needs to help her with Sunny. Drew needs to help her with Willow. She can't do anything herself because she messes everything up. Uh, the next time they speak, uh, however she feels about Carly as the owner of the hotel, isn't 
she's supposed to respect and protect her guest's privacy. On the subject of Jason wanting to buy uh, back half of the Metrocorp from Nina, Diane forgot to mention the invader as one of the things on Nina's plate. And someone can't remember who recently mentioned that Nina's fiance uh, finances were overextended. I think that was Drew mentioned the fact that her finances were overextended. Um, or maybe that's what Valentin told her as to why he purchased the invader for her to, to be the publisher of because he knew she couldn't afford it. But no, I think Drew did it to rub it in her face. Carly may well accept, uh, accept it from Jason what she wouldn't take from anyone else. Well, and plus, Jason, remember a lot of the things she couldn't take from family, from family because of the whole insider thing. Jason was not in any of that, so he could give that to her. Plus, she's already paid off the debt. Debt is paid in full. So actually, anybody could give her the hotel. The debt's paid in full. Uh, Nina can buy her own hotel in Port Charles. Nina never wants to, wanted to run a hotel. She even said it today. Yeah, it was a novelty fun while, you know, to rub it in Carly's face. But now she do. It's a lot of hard work. And long as she ain't, that ain't her baby. I am says, but she can't run it. And then uh, T. Dominic says to I am, exactly. She can't even co-run it. Um, the one she has now. Can't even co-run the one she has now. Nina knows nothing about hospitality. That is true. Brenda says, what hotel in Port Charles is available for Nina to buy? There is not one. Um, P. Merle says, it's time for Carly to fight back. How about we make Nina the subject of her previous gossip column? I'm sure Alexis would like that idea, LOL. Uh, let's say how the patrons of the Metro Court feel about the owner spreading gossip about the guests. Also, Carly could sue her butt for slander and defamation. I hope Drew has cameras in his office and is planning a, a blackmail scheme. Buckle up, Miss Nina. Uh, no longer Mrs. Corinthos. And then Otherworldly says, personality check. Carly pays no attention to Nina's acts or intentions. Otherworldly says, who would gossip about, gossip about the dirty deeds of Drew and Nina to the press? Um... The actors would have the man who was a clumsy but trusted employee of Nina uh, that Nina just fired get gossip for his uh, former co-workers. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I don't think they're going to go that route, though. Denzel says, um, at this point, Nina's character will never change. And once Sonny finds out about Nina and Longneck Drew, uh, that they slept together, it's over and done with it. Um, and I was hoping Nina's character would grow and forget about Carly, but now I don't know. At this point um, about her character, I just had enough of it, S-M-T-H. I don't know what that is, S-M-T-H. Um, and now that's, uh, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking Car that Carly is going to do something dumb, uh, some dumb crap, uh, lead on a Jagger. She's going to do that. And that way she can he can stop bothering Jason for once. But great recap, review, daily recaps. Yes, Carly's going to hatch a ill game plan. She always does. I can tell you that. Uh, Lisa says, I hope it gets out about Drew. Nina and Drew. Sonny would flip out. I hope Drew tells someone about it and it gets out. You know, they always talk about stuff in public, like, right? Drew could be talking to Curtis about it right there in the middle of the coffee house. I mean, the middle of Kel uh, Bobby's. Richard says, I also am hoping Nina's character, I also was hoping Nina's character would change for the better, but the writers have ruined her. I'm telling you, they turned her in the nail. N.K. Rowe says, glad Tracy and B.L.Q. had the finance talk. And Pamela says, it's probably a Thursday episode because the episode of the eclipse that they covered last Monday. 
And then uh, Ron says, somehow they ended up bringing Sasha back to deception. They will end up bringing Sasha back to deception. Lucy made Maxie upset when she started running off at the mouth. Yes, she did. And yes, they are going to bring Maxie back. I mean, not Maxie back, Sasha back. Sasha is looking for something. And look, that, that I think is a happy medium because Sasha doesn't want to have to be told how to look and what to say when she's at the photo shoots. She has to look a certain way. She has to do this and that. Selling on home and heart she that's cool she can be her talk to the audience like look she came in in overalls that would work for her plus her money's running out so anyway everybody that's comic corner comic corner i will be back tomorrow for another daily recap of general hospital